Joining us now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence, man's going to be returning to the cage. Valor fights 35 as he's going to be taking on Matthew Backus. It's Doug Usher, who is 5-3 and three in his career, coming off a win at Valor fights 31 against Jason Gifford. Matt, uh, Doug, appreciate the time. Uh, first off, how is uh, training been going for this fight, man? Uh, it's been going good. Uh, it's a continuation of the training camp from uh, a show that I was supposed to fight on uh, Valor 34 in Chattanooga and my opponent backed out. So I never stopped training. I continued to train just in case something else would come come soon. And uh it did. So they lined this fight up with me and Matthew uh Bacchus or Bacchus Bacchus. And uh so I just continued with my training and picked back up right where I left off at so when you, when your last fight fell off, did you did you even take any time off, or was it just right back into the gym? Yeah, I was right back into the gym. I mean, I never stopped training. Uh, after the fight with uh, Jason Gifford that Saturday night, I was in the gym that Monday, right back at it. You know, so uh, I got I got my my sights set on on some bigger things. You know, in my career, and just pretty much staying in shape. I'm at the point now the way I believe I'm going to have to try to stay in shape at all times just in case I get a call. Uh, in fact, last week I got a call to go fight in the World Series, uh, World Series of Fighting uh, on like four or five days of notice. And the guy, uh, was he 23 and 12? Uh, John Howard Yeah. used to fight in the U.S. and he was in the UFC. And we were trying to negotiate the fight, and the guy wants to fight at 85, but, you know, 85 on, like, four days' notice, and I was 203 at the time. And I told him to meet me at 195, and, you know, at least 190 in a two-fight contract or two- or three-fight contract. And, uh, you know, they didn't want to do anything but 185, so I couldn't do it. But... That's pretty much what I'm trying to stay in shape for right now, just to be ready to go at any given time on short notice. Do you do you feel like it's a little bit of a missed opportunity there for you, the fact that you couldn't get a deal done there? No. Um, I'm just going to be patient and continue training. No matter the outcome of this next fight, I'm going to be right back in the gym that next week, that Monday, uh, back on on my regular training schedule, uh, I'm under, man- under management with uh, EPU Collective and Shane Carwin, the uh, ex-USC heavyweight champion. Uh, he's my manager now, so me and him talk talk often, and uh, he's, gonna, he's trying to set some things up later on down the road after this fight. So we're just going to be patient and just take it one fight at a time right now. What's your thoughts on uh, Matthew Backus as an opponent? He looks strong. Uh, he said he's a, he's a wrestler. He's got a wrestling background. Um, he's got some boxing. Uh, he's had some boxing fights before. Uh, he's, a, he's a banger. He likes to bang. I noticed that. Um, he's going to be tough. You know, nobody's a walk in the park. You know, anything can happen at any given time in a fight. So uh, definitely not looking past not looking past him. And I uh, definitely respect him and his uh, his style and and his uh, and what what he brings into the cage, into the ring. In terms of motivation for you, is it just simply knowing that the fact of the bigger promotions are looking at you, and you just got to kind of keep going on the path that you're on? No, um, that's not a motivation at all. I think in time that would come, you know a bigger promotion would come. Although I have fought in uh in Legacy twice. Um but I think in time a bigger promotion will will come. I I just got things I need to work on or focus working on right now and focus on improving. So uh you know, even since the last fight I've been working on improving a lot of other aspects of my uh of my game also. So like I said, I'm just taking this this one fight at a time, you know, and uh, whatever comes out of it, you know, that's what happens. That's what comes from it. 
Once again, we're joined by Doug Usher, who's going to be fighting at Valor Fights 35 as he takes on Matthew Backus. Of course, this fight card taking place on June the 25th. You can watch it on flowcombat.com. You talk about taking it one fight at a time. Early on in your career, did you not have that mindset of maybe you, you found yourself looking ahead when you should have just been worrying about just the task at hand? No. Uh, earlier in my career, I just thought everything was going to be out of reach, you know, and that I was just going to be uh, uh, pretty much be one of these local fighters, you know, that just, hey, I, you know, I do MMA. I, I, you know, I fought, you know, before. And, uh, you know, end up hanging it up later on. Because, uh, you know, I, like I said, I, I started out my pro career 0-2. So, you know, if you're not strong mentally, that can really have an effect on you as far as your confidence and everything everything goes. So I never really looked forward to, like, trying to get into a big organization or anything like that. Cause I never thought that it would there would even be talks about it, you know. I, I was just so far behind. And uh, the big organizations, really, they care about your record. That's what they look at. They look at your record. And they want, I mean, they want exciting guys and all, but really they just care about your record. They want a guy with a lot of wins and a little bit of losses, <laughs> if, if any at all. You know, that way they can say that they have, quote, unquote, have the best fighters in the world fighting for them. You know, and then you lose a few fights, and then you're right back out there fighting local again. So, no, I haven't really looked at it like that. And of course, you mentioned you know at, since those uh, first two uh, losses, five and one in your last six fights. What, what's the harder loss for you to take, the loss in legacy or the, the two losses at the, at the start of your pro career? Two losses at the start of my pro career because. I was undefeated previously to that. I, you know, I had seven amateur fights, and I'm seven and zero, so I didn't know what it felt like to lose a fight, especially lose by TKO. So the first two fights were the were the two hardest for me. You know, the legacy fight, the legacy 47, I was just out of shape. Like I said, I'd cut an extremely large amount of weight in a short period of time. I cut 36 pounds. You know, and then didn't properly didn't didn't properly uh, um, rehydrate the next day, nor did I uh, take in enough enough uh, carbs, you know, and food the next day, and paid for it in the fight. And you know, I didn't have the worst performance ever, but you know, I definitely did not have anywhere close to my best performance. So. You know, that was pretty... A Legacy 47 was pretty tough on me, too, because it was on national television. And this time, I had everybody watching. You know, there a lot of people that missed the, that missed the fight before then on Legacy 40 tuned in for Legacy 47, and I got TKO'd on national television. <laughs> so, yeah, that... All three of my losses played a big, big part on, on... A big part on me, myself. But... The thing is, what I learned and uh, what I learned from that, from those fights, and then corrected after those fights, you know, so that, that, but that, those really do play a big, a big part, a uh, big part on me. And, you know, I still think about those every single day. Now the day goes by that I don't think about lying on my back, looking up at the ceiling and hearing the crowd cheer for the other guy or, you know, going back there in that locker room and just sitting with my with my head down just you know mad at myself because uh you know I didn't prepare myself for the for the fight you know what I'm saying it's just tough it was just rough for me I mean I know different fighters have different thoughts on that but do you think it becomes a point where you will say you know what I've got to move on I got I can't think about those fights anymore yeah there's always a point where you have to you have to do that, but you never forget. Me, I never, for, I never forget what happened because that's a constant reminder to push, to push, to do better, to do better. Sometimes I even go back on YouTube and watch those fights and just live it, relive it, you know, relive it again, just to have that 
that mental aspect of, okay, you know, this is what I needed to work on. This is what I've worked on. I could have did this differently, could have did that differently. Oh, I didn't see that before. You know, those those things and also to to relive that feeling of what it felt like that night to push myself and motivate myself the next day in the gym, you know. And, of course, uh, you'll be able to see Doug here. Valor 535 as he takes on Matthew Backus. Of course, as I mentioned, Carl will be on flowcombat.com. Doug, I really appreciate time. Good luck in the fight, man. Thank you very much. Hope to see everybody out there.